Hey, see here and welcome to Arkelius. Now that my occult series in The Sims 2 is done, I decided I needed a new let's play for The Sims 2. So, finally, I've had this neighborhood for so long and finally, we are playing it. Arkelius is embedded in the midst of nowhere between mountains no normal sim would dare climb. The community managed by itself up until the untimely death of Abraham, the founder. A succession is called into question and secrets unravel, will the inhabitants of Arkelius be able to find peace again or plunge into chaos? Now in this, I had to disable story progression for this neighborhood to work as intended, because this is a um, custom-made neighborhood with a story, with lore incorporated into every family here, so there is a recommended playing order. So, the first family that we are going to play is the Fontana. So the first family that we are recommended to play is the Fontana. A few months ago, the shy and sweet Oriana, or is that an L? Orlana or Oriana? I think it's Oriana, defied expectations and married her superior. However, with his recent passing, all eyes are on her. As suspicions arise around her and neighbors begin to whisper about the robot living butler, what will Ori do? So she's the widow of the founder, it seems. Okay, so let's go. So I didn't explain it properly, but this neighborhood is basically a sci-fi murder mystery kind of deal. And since there is a story, there is actually a way to play through the families. I, uh, like this is gonna be an actual investigation game, which you know I love, and I love when there's multiple characters to play in a, in a kind of in investigative game. So the, using The Sims to make an investigative game sounds like the perfect thing for me. Like, this is right up my alley. So I love it already, and I can't wait to find out more about this. Okay, so we have a basketball court in a house, apparently. We have a huge garage, it seems, on the right, and the house itself is huge. There are a few cars parked because it's some kind of event, which I'm assuming is the funeral, because as far as I can tell, our founder just died. And our founder, the, the Archelius's founder, is the is the late husband of Ori, I think. So before we resume the game, let me just see what these sims are like. Oriana is a romantic sim. Does she already have a secondary aspiration? Yes, she is a secondary fortune aspiration. That's the only thing that is set, which is really nice, actually. I like that. Uh, the rest is up to me, but she is a virgin, so she's neat, shy, uh, active, serious, and a bit grouchy. Smart but shy, Oriana is content in her wants and needs. The only thing she loves more than books is saffron cakes. Nothing better than relaxing in the afternoon with a good romance novel and have the robot hand you homemade cakes hot from the oven. What is her lifetime aspiration? Her not a hundred thousand simoleons, which I feel like, but we're already halfway there, so um, we can do that. Uh, now, our, our servo, Iron Man Hellos, is a family aspiration well, he's not a sim, he's a servo, but doesn't have a secondary aspiration. I guess I can choose it. We'll do that eventually. He's a cancer, so he's a little bit neat, not too much. He's shy, a little active, a little serious, and a little nice. He's pretty average. But is he alive or dead? Has he thoughts within his head? He was built from steel in Abraham's lab. 
one of the first servo prototypes. Nobody wanted him, but Abraham saw his potential. Hmm, interesting. And his lifetime aspiration is to reach golden anniversary. Oh, what a shame that you will never be able to. Because to reach golden anniversary, you need to be a you need to be an elder, and he can't age up. He never ages. So yeah. Now Nicholas is just a child, so of course he he has the growing up aspiration, and um, he can't yet have a secondary aspiration because they're not available to toddlers or children. But um, he is a Libra. He's very sloppy. He's outgoing, lazy, playful, and um, kind of midway through grouchy and nice. He's neither nice nor grouchy. But he has brought Iron Man such joy. His cheeky personality makes every day an adventure for the robot. So. Let's actually see what this is all about. She wants to resurrect Benvolio. Whoa. Okay. So who is fighting who? Elaine Chan Close is fighting Fabio Rivales, which actually that reminds me. We could also check the family tree to see Fitzcowden is Ori's father, but Osbert Yoxal? Oh, that's our husband. Uh, that's our brother. Okay. Uh, no, wait. So I want to go to Nicholas Fontana and. Wait, why is Nico why does Nicholas have her name? <laughs> oh well, Abraham Hellos has Oh, Elaine Chan Hel Hello Why do I keep saying Hellos? Helios. That makes more sense actually. <laughs> anyway, uh Abraham H Helios has four children. One of which is Elaine Chan Helios, and then Darcy Mishra, Narcissa Soili, and Nicholas Fontana. And then also has three grandchildren, but we'll see them in another episode. Uh, right now, Elaine Chan Helios is fighting with Fabio Rivales, which, um, okay, party time is the snoozer. I mean, so it's a party. I'm not sure if it's a party just because it's the only way to have a funeral in The Sims 2. Or, you know, because like, you wouldn't want to have too much fun at a funeral. But, uh, like, funeral expectations have gone out of the window, I think, with this fight. Um, so. The thing is, there are scripted events. What is happening now? Kane Helios is slapping Holanda, Yolanda Rivales. Wanda Heights is a witch. Interesting. Seriously, what the hell? This was a mistake, I think. No, this is definitely a funeral because Abraham's ashes are right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let it play out, but like, apparently this is supposed to happen, but <laughs> I'm confused. Let me actually, while they're arguing, let me actually see what this, oh, it's lagging so much. I think there's too many scenes on the lot, but uh, let me see what this mansion is like. So we have a kitchen right, the, right here, a huge dining room, um, this kind of living room, really nice. Oh, a hidden library, uh, like bookcase, 
um, door that leads into a lab. Interesting. Does she know? Oh, this is like the code room, maybe? With just some money trees. Why not? Uh, this is another living room, which uh, is a little more modern, it seems. And uh, this is a bedroom, which I'm assuming is Oriana's. Now, upstairs, the, <laughs> the party is a disaster, by the way. Um, this room is completely empty, bar a single <laughs> dartboard, which Ian Chan is, is happily enjoying. Oh, maybe this is Oriana's room, actually. I think they slept in separate beds. Is this gonna be for Nicholas? Because, I mean, maybe they're just prepping early. Or was it someone's? And why is all of the toddler stuff in a wall? Oh, wait, what? What is this? And there's toddler stuff down here as well. I thought it was just like, you know how some mansions ha just have a, like a proper house, but like a house within a, a lot that is a mansion. I don't, a resident, no, ha I forget how it's, what's it, what, what it's called, but no, it's a bowling alley. Of course, we have a bowling alley in the back, um, but yeah. Oh, this is what I, okay, I thought that was what this is. And I had, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking that there would be another one here, another, but yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot that there is a garage here. I thought it was just a huge garage, but no, this is, um, God, what's it called? I did forget that this is a thing. So there are also family books, but, um, yeah. Baby Nicholas was all that remained from her marriage to Abraham. As much as, he, as she loathed to admit it, Oriana couldn't stand him. Lucky for her, Iron Man loved him as if he were his own. Toddler skills could all be taken care of. I'm living the dream, Oriana thought, as Iron Man call, carried Nicholas away to be potty trained. I finally made it. I'm free. Hmm, interesting. Is that why all of the toddler stuff were in a room? In a walled room. What am I doing? What? What are you? Oh my god! Oriana scolded herself internally. I didn't even check the relationships. I just. Oh my god. I mean, it was. I did go in the relationship panel to check the family tree, but I didn't actually check the relationships. I forgot. <laughs> He was a robot, a servant, a living nanny, maid and gardener all in one. He didn't have a beating heart. He didn't bleed if he was cut. How could he be made of metal and yet more of a man than most she had met? Whew! What's your step? Oriana giggled. Iron Man was quite the dancer, to her surprise. Then again, with all the weddings he had needed to attend through his life with Abraham, perhaps that shouldn't be a shock. I don't know what would hurt more, Mr. Helios. My lead boots on your or your heels. <laughs> you can feel pain? Oriana couldn't believe the thought that had never occurred to her before. I can feel just as much as a non-mechanical sim, Iron Man explained. If not more. <laughs> I'm loving this. More, she says. Abraham Helios represented everything she had ever wanted in a man. Wait, I think I'm going backwards. I am going backwards. What? Okay, my bad. Please don't leave me with them. Oriana begged, tucking at the suit of the social worker. The social worker gave her a look of annoyance. Don't be silly, Oriana. You're in good hands with Mr. Cowden. Oriana lowered her gaze dejectedly. Can I at least get a hug goodbye? She asked, reaching out her arms to embrace her social worker. No, no. The social worker took a step away. Go hug your father. He's not my father, Oriana protested. I don't know him. You will. 
the man, but you will. The man, Mr. Cowden, spoke in a low voice. Like it or not, you're a Cowden now. Never, Oriana thought. I will never be a Cowden. Wow, okay. Mr. Cowden is the worst, Oriana complained. She sat down in the couch and stretched her arms. I got a job like you wanted and then it tells me dancing isn't serious enough. Geez, sorry for not being a politician or business entrepreneur fits. I forgot I had to tailor my life to suit your wants and fears. <laughs> I love that nod. Benvolio sat down next to her on the arm of the couch, running his hands through her hair as if it were a comb. I'm sorry, baby, he said. I wish I could help. Get you away from him. I wish you could, Oriana sighed. He's such a negligent dad, too. Osbert has been having aspiration failures since we were kids, and he does nothing about it other than send in the free therapist. As if that will solve his problem in the long run. Again, love the nods. At least your brother has you to care for him. Yeah, but I'm not a mum. Then Volio kissed her on the head. You'll get better, Ori, I swear, he said. When we become adults, I'll marry you and get you far, far away from Mr. Cowden. You swear? I swear on my life. The day never came. Benvolio passed away in a tragic accident. Fitz did nothing but yell at Oriana for crying over his death. She tried to run away from home, but was forced to return by the police. It wasn't until she became an adult that she finally found the key to freedom. Ebrion Helios represented everything she had ever wanted in a man. Liberation, independence, unconditional love, intelligence, and enough simoleons to purchase every book in the library. When they met, he was her boss. When they married, she was his. A real polymath of a man too, specializing in biology and the creation of life. Life included, included his sweet robot Iron Man, who had been with him ever since his first marriage. It seems so contradictory. It seems so contradictory that this creator of life, father of an entire town, would eventually die. What is it? Is this what? Oh my god! There's even the police involved now. I haven't done anything. This is all. I feel like I'm watching a movie just. Direct. Oh, the party is too loud. Let's break it up, people. I mean, thank you. <laughs> because, like, also, if you see some of them look weird, it's not because that's how they look, it's because I have default replacements. So, Red Nvidia and Nappy Place, uh, the people who made this neighborhood, uh, didn't have these default replacements when they made the characters. So, some might look weird. Uh, but, okay then, uh, the police broke up the party, that's good actually. Now the only person that, oh my god, um, yeah, we don't have a good relationship with him. I mean, no, that doesn't sound like her, I'm gonna cancel that, that is just The Sims being The Sims, but no. <laughs> oh, you know what, actually, now that we know the story and she wants to resurrect Benvolio I was just gonna put it you know I'm j I was just gonna ignore it and let it play out and not do anything about it because resurrecting a sim is not something but no this time I know the story I know that she did work with Abraham in the creation of life and everything so like um resurrecting somebody is in that line of work and the it's there's so much history there that yes absolutely i'm gonna lock it okay so uh since the story said that we just need to play each house uh for two to three days i'm just going through the motions basically doing whatever they want to do whatever 
Uh, I'm basically, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm basically just playing as Iron Man, taking care of the house and the toddler, because every time that she wants to interact with the toddler, I'm cancelling it, because it is absolutely not like what the story is like. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> but right now he just needs to power up, so he's having a little break. And no, stop being a good mother, you're not, you're an awful mother. <laughs> Uh, but um, yeah no we're not gonna interact with a toddler until he's grown up and we can interact badly with, <laughs> with the child well that's horrible but it is what it is now she does want to get a job in the slacker career but but I'm not gonna do that and even though she doesn't have the experience but this specific want for that, I'm gonna interpret that resurrecting Benvolio means that she wants the Resurrectonomitron in order to resurrect Benvolio. Uh, we do want Charisma level 1. After she's done with this Charisma point, I'm gonna have her walk to a community lot. Right, actually we have a car, I don't need to have her walk to the lot. So, what I thought is, I just put this in, this is a conversion from the community board uh, that is in The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle, but in The Sims 2, this conversion works as a job board. So we can go here and say, find a job in, and there's gonna be all of them, and we can say, find a job in Paranormal because that's the job that will give us, oh, we can't access it here, but that's the job that should give us, I'm pretty sure, uh, the Resurrectonometron. So it is officially the third day on this house, but because we started at night, I'm gonna play until midnight. Um, so yeah, because like we started on the night of the first day, so I'm gonna play until the night on this day. I was just taking care of needs and stuff, but I was just thinking, the name of the neighborhood, Archelius, I said Archelius, but Archelius, like the church is called Arc Church, and the founder is Abraham Helios, so it's Archelius. So it, it it might be something to do with an arc and Helios is just a self-reference to himself. Oh, the cow plant, I had the balls down. I didn't realize that the cow plant is in a whole different room. So, okay, that's interesting. Hmm. So... Was Abraham a witch? Because that would explain she doesn't want to become a witch either. Like, that's also another thing. She doesn't want to become a witch. Like, why do you even have that fear? But if Abraham was a witch, it would explain all of the hidden rooms that have no access. Like this one as well. Of, okay, yeah, it's a specimen, you want it contained, but like, you also want to, you know, take care of the specimen, so feed it, and, uh, and everything, but, I don't know. So, it is officially midnight, between the third and fourth day, and I'm gonna leave it here for this session. So this episode was mainly just setting for the story that we're going to see play out and uh, we did a few things but overall besides the very start which was mad uh, nothing much happened uh, but we'll see in the next episode in which we play as the rivales and we'll see what all of the arguing and fighting is about I mean, they are literally called the rivals, so we're gonna find out more about the story and investigate more about the mystery. Like, mystery about what as well? It does say in the download page that it's a murder mystery, but is the murder... Like, is it implying that Abraham was murdered? Uh, because I think 
I think yes, I think that's what it's implying. So we're gonna find out more about that. But for now, like and subscribe as always, comment down below what you thought about this episode, what you think about these sims, about this neighborhood, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!